I gotta have my pictures perfect. I gotta have remarks perfect. I gotta have price perfect the first day it's on the market because that's when the most eyeballs see that listing. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Your client, a new client, right? It's a listing. You get a new listing. Okay. And I'm asking, there's an initial email that you might send out to all of your listings. And, you know, this is who I am. Kind of introducing yourself. After I get the listing? I'm sorry? After I get the listing? Yeah, once you get the listing. Well, once after, listing. I mean, at that point, they know who I am. Do you send out send out a process like a proceeds process and pre procedures? This is what's going to happen next. No, I no, I, I literally put it on the market and and sell it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? I kind of. Well, I kind of tell them at the listing, right? I kind of tell them this is how it's going to go. You're going to sign this document. I'm going to order some professional pictures. As soon as I get those pictures back, I have to wait till I get them back because I have to have an incredible online presence. I got to have my pictures perfect. I got to have remarks perfect. I got to have price perfect the first day it's on the market because that's when the most eyeballs see that listing. You can say, hey, we're going to list it this and lower it later. That does us no good because when you reduce it, that's not that it's it's going to be so many less eyeballs that see that than they do when it's a brand new listing. If you start out the wrong price and then you reduce it, now we're backing up. Now we're showing how we're you know we're we're we're, we're showing we don't want to be in that situation. We've lost all the momentum of being new on the market. We need to be priced right. We need to be have our pictures right. We need to have remarks right. As soon as you sign this, then I'm going to order the pictures that I pay for. As soon as they get those back, I'll be on the market. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the office right now and start calling possible buyers. So my question is, when you first make contact with them and they agree for you to come to their home, do you send them any communication after you have that initial conversation or are you just shooting over to their house, getting will, them to sign that document and getting it on getting I online? Will, I will see them at the house and the goal is not necessarily to get them to sign that document, right? I want to walk in that house and I want them to show me that house. I want them to tell me all about that house. And I want to know why they're selling this house. I got to know why they're selling this house. Once I know why they're selling this house, now I can really help them with what they're really trying to do. You know what I mean? And so like I make it an emotional thing. Like I connect with them on a, a, a higher, more emotional level like a friend or family member would. And then once I get to that point, they're not going to use another agent. Now, you might not win them all, but you're going to win most of them doing it like this. And then they're basically going to be trying to tell you why you should why, why, why you should let them work with you. At that point, you know, they're going to be begging you to list it at that point. You know what I mean? It's not going to be hard to sell it once you get right. to that point because you still haven't even tried to get them to sign the document. Then once they sign the document or get to that point, we figure out what the price is. Then we're going to kind of tell them, you know, run down the... The, the steps, you know, the, the pictures, the remarks, all that stuff. And then as soon as I get a sign, I'm going back to the office. I might scan it in and email it to them so they have a copy or something like that. But other than that, man, I got to get to work, you know? Like I need to do the things I need to do to sell this property. In terms of sending them stuff before I go, to me, when I show up there, you know, they're like, oh, well, this person sent me a pre-listing package or they all this. And I'm like, right. look, I'm like, yeah. look, I'm like, looky here, Mr. Seller. Do you want Mr. Pre-listing package agent who's going to go back to the office and they get your listing and spend time getting more, doing more pre-listing packages and fixing up a bunch of pre-listing packages and all that that doesn't sell any properties and doesn't make us a dime? Or do you want Mr. Phone call guy? who's going to go back to the office right now and start making phone calls to try to sell your property before it even hits the market. Which agent do you want, right? Do you want a worker or do you want Mr. Show Off? You want Mr. You know, waste a lot of time. You know what I mean? Every set, I, you, every, I think that a lot of agents push those pre-listing packets. That's I, why I'm asking. I do too. I do. I, I do too, I do too, and I'm glad because that leaves way more properties to sell for us. Okay. That opens the door up for that opens the door up for people like us. Mm -hmm. You know, because like I'm not gonna spend my time sending pre-listing packages out. 